guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to take you guys through my January budget I know I talk a lot about budgeting and um, I have my budgeting 101 video which I'm gonna link below so if you're a beginner you want to watch that video before you watch this one because I don't typically do a basic budget I do what you call a flex budget or what I call a flex budget um, so my budget is kind of flexible up until midway through the month and then once I set that then it's set but um, I'm gonna take you guys through my budget so you can get uh, you know better idea of how budgeting works um, with real numbers and um, if you have any questions or anything just link it down below okay, so this is my budget for January on the right hand side on my screen you can see I have my income that I was expecting to bring in in January and then after income you have my expenses kind of in order of importance so I have housing food transportation taxes medical savings lifestyle miscellaneous and debt the main purpose of my budget is to get rid of student loan debt. Um, that's the only debt that I have right now. And the main goal of me budgeting and, you know, having my finances in order is to get rid of that. So I'm going to take you through some of the categories. I'm not going to get too much into the income category, but income is basically anything that I thought I could bring in from my full-time and part-time jobs. So I, I do work multiple jobs to achieve whatever income I need to meet my finance goals. So that's what income has. And then the next category is housing. You have housing at the top because it's like the most important Food and housing is like the two most important things in my budget. So I have to have those at the top of my budget because I have to make sure that housing and food is covered. So first you have my housing, which consists of my rent, my utilities. This is um, water, trash and sewer, um, my electric and internet. And I put internet as part of housing because it's an essential part of my bills um, being that you know I have a roommate and we split the internet bill actually all of these costs over here are split so the electric though I will say this is not necessarily January alone electric it's really December and November so we get this bill um, every other month so $40 is not a bad deal. Um, water, trash, and sewer. Um, last month it was like 55 something, so that's why I budgeted $56, but um, it just was a couple cents over. And it's typically like that, so I don't too worry about it. You know, as you can see in this category, it's always pretty much on point. It might be off by a couple dollars or a couple cents, but it's not the end of the world the next thing you have is my food budget and typically you would want to include restaurant in your lifestyle budget but I've chosen to include food in my um, I'm sorry I've chosen to include restaurant in my food budget because I always set a food budget of $200 a month now it doesn't matter how I spend on food all that matters is that I don't spend over $200 and so in the beginning of the month I actually had my grocery budget set at 130 I believe it was but um, you know coming up on midway through the month I realized I was going to need more groceries and so I'll show you let me click on it so if I click on it you can see that um in the beginning of the month i bought groceries and then as we were coming up on the middle of the month i realized that i needed more groceries so what i ended up doing was moving money from my restaurant budget to my groceries budget 
and that's what ended up covering my groceries but once we got through midway through the month I didn't change it anymore so that's why um you know it's like four dollars over I could have moved five dollars up but I mean it wasn't that serious at the end of the day it's just about making sure that I don't go over two hundred dollars so yeah I, I did pretty good with my grocery budget this month well not my grocery budget but I did pretty good with food I should say in general um, spending you know only what did I spend 82 bucks 182 bucks not a bad deal now my restaurant budget is kind of deceiving in a sense because so I actually had $20 cash on hand from the prior month that I don't include in my income and I don't include in my expenses so I actually did spend that $20 you know on food and a variety of other things that's what I call my bonus cash at the end of the month if I have like money left over I will sometime withdraw it so I accounted for it in my previous budget when I do a ATM withdrawal um, and you'll see that in my transportation budget like for gas I typically buy gas with cash so I'll take out 20 bucks or 40 bucks and I'll call it an ATM withdrawal and I know that that money is meant to go towards gas does it always not necessarily not if I have enough gas but I do the same thing in my food budget so that's why it's kinda deceiving I probably spent more like twenty eight dollars on food but twenty dollars um, was from a prior month and I just had the cash on hand so that's why but overall I did really good in my food budget and one cool thing I like with this is that I can click here and you can see how much money I have remaining so I overspent by four dollars and thirty one cents but I saved in my restaurant budget by twenty one dollars and seventy nine cents now my transportation for transportation um my transportation budget is pretty much set uh, my insurance is pretty much the same every month my gas is typically a hundred dollars but I had forty dollars left over from last month so I actually ended up having to reduce my auto budget in my um, in the budgeting app and then my carpool budget I typically budget twenty five dollars for um, Uber and Lyft and I typically just put it on my Uber card thing my Uber app and every month I try to put $25 on there and then they typically I typically don't use all of it like I still have $16 left that I can use in February or I can just add another $25 and just let it accrue that way um, when I need it it's there for me so for my car maintenance budget I actually didn't budget this initially um, so when January 1st came I didn't have it in my budget but then um, a couple days into January I was like oh crap I need to go get these coils fixed on my car so the good thing about budgeting is it makes you see what doesn't matter so much so it made me realize I need to cut some of my other budget so I actually had budgeted more money in um, my lifestyle category I had more like close like seven hundred dollars budgeted for lifestyle but then I was just like I need to get my car maintenance done I need to get this fixed so I have to reduce that budget and then I had a higher amount in my miscellaneous budget as well and so I had to reduce that as well and that's really what my miscellaneous budget is for like when stuff like this pop up um, it's just a place where I can go and get extra funds um, same in my lifestyle budget entertainment and stuff like that is not so serious so whenever I need money to pay for something like that's the first place I go is my miscellaneous and my lifestyle budget 
Uh, so this came up and I was scrambling through my budget trying to make sure that um, I had this covered, which I did. So that worked out great. So yeah, that's my transportation budget. I don't have car payments because I own my car. Uh, it's a $2,000 car, so um, you know, gas isn't too expensive for it. And um, you know, that's great in California because gas is so expensive. So it's good that I don't have to um, spend more really than $100 or so. And as far as taxes, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Medical is also pretty self-explanatory. That's um, my pre premium on my uh, health insurance. As far as taxes, um, that's just what get withdrawn on my paycheck. But one of the things that I do do is, you know, once we hit closer to like March, I like to look and make sure that I paid enough taxes um, once we're in March. That way, you know, the IRS won't come hunting me down. So I like to every quarter make sure that I check to see if I paid enough taxes based on what I think my tax liability will be. Savings, we're not going to get too much into it. But um, I budgeted $750. Um, savings is a part of my budget every single month because I do put into a Roth IRA through my job. Um, they do a match up to a certain percentage. So I put into that and I also put into a HSA account um, for medical expenses. I guess you could kind of put the HSA up in medical, but um, it's really saving, so uh, I keep that in my savings budget. And then I also have a general savings budget where I put money for general things that I'm saving for, but really I wanted to increase my emergency savings this month, so that's really what my savings budget um, consists of. The next thing is lifestyle budget, and this is where I come whenever um, I'm in the beginning of the month and I realize I need to cut some things in my budget and my entertainment budget was like 150 when the month started my apartment stuff budget was like 450 um, and then I realized I need things in other categories like my car maintenance so I had to cut those budget all the way um, down to what it is now and um, I did very well in this category as well. Um, so uh, my cell phone is pretty much set every single month. House and personal, it's almost pretty much set every single month. And that's like personal hygiene and like household items like toilet paper and stuff like that. Uh, my subscription. So this has my gym subscription and uh, this other thing that I do for, yeah. So one of the things I'm going to do is really cut this gym budget because we have a gym here and it's no need for me to have this anymore. So I'm actually going to cut the gym budget and then get life insurance. Um, the other thing is clothing. Um, so this kind of came up midway through the month. I had to pay $5 for shipping and then um, the apartment stuff. Like I said, it was $4.50 at the beginning, but then I realized that um, I had to get car stuff done. So I had to cut this budget. And so um, you're probably wondering, why the heck is your apartment stuff budget so high? It's because I was um, decorating my room and stuff, and then really, I got a TV. Um, so yeah, if you click, you can see. Sometimes I leave a note in here on what I bought. Let me see if I left a note. Doesn't look like I left a note. <laughs> but sometimes I'll leave a note. Um, actually, I sent back some of this stuff, so I should be getting refunds. And then the next thing you have is my entertainment. And I don't typically spend a lot of money on entertainment. And this month was no different. I did very well with my entertainment budget. 
I'm very proud of myself. It's not always that pretty. Um, as far as miscellaneous, I did very well too. Um, well, miscellaneous is really just you know stuff that may come up i typically budget like 50 or 100 dollars and then whenever i need money in other categories then i'll cut down my miscellaneous budget but once we get through midway through the month i stop um flexing my budget and i leave it as is and so i think that's what happened because i have no idea what i paid two dollars for hmm it must have not been a food item or a um, household item because I just put Dollar Tree. What is that? I have no idea what I spent two dollars for, but um, yeah. So that's pretty much miscellaneous. And the last thing I have is my debt budget, and that just really consists of like um, student loans. Um, the one thing I will say I do like about this budget is that if you click on one of it, it'll tell you how much um, is owed. And if you're wondering why I got a parent plus and I don't got a child, it's because um, this is actually in my mother's name and I pay it because that was the deal when I initially got it. But this pretty much sums up my January budget. And one thing I like with this is that you can see how much you spend in each category. You always want to keep your housing under 25% of your income. Um, I do really well with food because most people spend a lot more than 200 on food. My transportation is really well, but my transportation is very much always lower than what you see over here because the extra thing I have this month is a car maintenance. So next month I'll have $180 to put in a different category. Um, taxes is typically 20, 25% of my income. And then I do that quarterly check. Um, medical is it's typically it depends on the month but it's typically like a hundred dollars it's just that we had a five week month and because I get paid weekly pretty much from all my jobs um, they take out um, 25 per week so that's why and then savings of course um, I could probably save a lot more money than a seven hundred and fifty dollars but for right now um, savings is not necessarily the goal, but you know, I do still try to make sure I save some money out of my budget. And then lifestyle, also pretty um, self-explanatory. It's not typically this high. My lifestyle budget is typically not more than um, $200 really. 200 to 250 but you know again this month we had um this apartment stuff and so that caused my lifestyle budget to go up and then miscellaneous is typically not much of anything and then you have my debt um it's the highest portion of my budget because that's really what i'm trying to get rid of right now so that pretty much sums up my budget this app that i'm using it's the every dollar app but I have it um, in my browser right now and I like the browser version because it gives you these breakdown the only thing I don't like with this is that you can't export it to Excel um, so that's one of the reasons I'm probably gonna switch to something else because I like to be able to export my budgets to Excel um, you know, just so I could play with it a little bit more and just see things more clearly month by month. Uh, the one cool thing that I like about this is at the end of the month, you can look at what you spent, right? And the red just shows you where you overspent. And you can go back and look at, okay, how much did I overspend by? You can see it's 83 cents. It's not a big deal. Like transportation, oh, I overspent over there too. What did I do here? It was like almost $3 I overspent by. It's not the end of the world. And then all the other categories, I did very much what I said I would do. And then the other thing you can see is what you have remaining. 
in each category and then the total you have remaining which is $34 at the end of the month I will have what you call um, you know reflecting on my budget and then I can look and say okay I have $34 do I want to withdraw any of it do I want to take $20 as a bonus cash and sometimes I'll do that I'm probably going to do that and I have that little $20 because I always like to keep a couple dollars in my pocket um, you know just in case there's places you'll go and they'll say they don't take cards so I like to keep 20 and 40 dollars on me um, even though I don't necessarily like traveling with cash but this pretty much um, sums up my budget I did very well this month and I'm actually really proud of myself because it's not always this pretty but you know this month I did a pretty good job of sticking to my budget and I'm probably gonna do this for you guys every quarter or every couple months just so you can see you know how I'm budgeting how my budgets might change um, cuz it changes from month to month it could be higher or lower than what you see it just really depends in any given month um, but the main thing is I just make sure that my main expenses are covered and then I worry about savings and um, debt and paying off debt as long as I pay the minimum payments on my debt everything extra is just um, whatever I decide to pay like if I have extra money in my budget if I have an extra five hundred dollars I can decide you know if this is a month where I can um, throw the money at debt it just really depends in any given month um, you know so I did pretty well this month I'm, I'm very much proud of myself and um, next month it's gonna be different too because you know you have taxes and all that good stuff coming up and then March is gonna be different too like every single month for me is very different because my income is very variable depending on how much that I do but yeah this pretty much sums up my January budget Thank you guys so much for watching i hope this was helpful for you if you are trying to get on the right track financially um, if you have any questions or comments feel free to drop it down below or you can message me privately whichever one works for you um, but once more thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video